In this video, I will de demonstrate how to construct an ungrouped frequency distribution. We typically compute the ungrouped frequency distribution when the data is quantitative and the range is relatively small. So I've typed in the data set. It consists of ages of students who are studying on the first floor of the library at a community college. Step one, I would recommend sorting the data from lowest to highest. To accomplish this, Excel has a sort and filter option. We click on the button and then select sort lowest to highest. So the data values have now been sorted. We can see the maximum is 25. The lowest is 18, so let's calculate the range. It's from 25 minus 18. The range is 7. Typically, typically, if the range is less than 10, you can construct an ungrouped frequency distribution. At maximum, maybe up to 20. The range is 20. But most likely, if it's around 10 to 12, use an ungrouped frequency distribution. Uh, so to construct the distribution, we need our headings, class, class boundaries. We're going to have the lower and upper class boundaries and frequency. In this case, since we're using Excel, we'll make the tally optional. So the class will start with the lowest value, which is 18. And we'll list all the values from 18 to the highest value, which is 25. So 18, 19. Now, if you don't want to list each individual value, just list the first two, select the first two values, and then drag. And what Excel will do is subtract those values and continuously add the difference. And then we can see we get the entire uh, data values from the lowest to highest. Now, for the class boundaries, we have the lower and upper class boundaries that we have to compute. When we have ungrouped data, we have to close the gaps between the data values. To do this, we're, we will subtract 0.5 from the data value. That will give us the lower class boundary limit and then add 0.5 to the data value to obtain the upper class boundary limits. So let's have Excel do that for us. You type in equals. That lets Excel know that you're building a function. We click on the cell that contains 18 and then subtract 0.5. So remember, the lower class boundary limits subtract 0.5. Now for the upper class boundary limits, we click on 18 or the cell that contains 18, H7 and now add 0.5. So the class boundary limits are from 17.5 to 18.5. Let's select both values and then just double click in the lower right hand corner and all the other class boundary limits are computed. Now finally we have to find the frequencies. So that's just the number of occurrences of each data value. So 18 has three occurrences, so the frequency is 3. 19 has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 occurrences. 20 has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 occurrences. 21 has 2 occurrences. 22 has 1, 2, 3, 4 occurrences. 23 has 4 occurrences. 24 has 2. And 25 has 3. And now we're ready to
construct our table. And then let's use a different color for the headings. And there it is. We have uh, the class, which are all the data values from lowest to highest, class boundary limits, and the frequency. So this is an ungrouped frequency distribution. Thanks for watching the video.